Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. This is Regan Elite here, and I'm trying to climb up this hill without falling over, because that would be ooh, really, really bad. So muddy here, and so dangerous. I have to literally step on the top of the branches because it's so slippery. If you slip, you could, I could fall on yeah, it's not safe, this uh, little mountain top here. I'll show you just here. Can you see this? Yeah, it's not not exactly the um, safest uh, safest to traverse, shall we say. Um, so, why come another episode of Speaking My Mind? Well, I just speak about whatever is on my mind. And today I want to talk about... I want to talk about comments. How do I... Comments on my channel. So... Um, since I started the channel, I'm just under about, I'm still at the time of this recording, just still under a year since I officially started the channel. Yes, the channel was created in 2012, but the, the actual channel didn't actually begin until last year, actually last year, May. Um, so we're coming up on that and it would be absolutely awesome if I could get to a thousand subscribers before then, but if not, it's not the end of the world either. But... Um, Let's talk about comments. So sometimes I've learned over the while. So initially when I first started up, I wasn't sure how to deal with certain comments. You know, I always had really nice comments. You know, people were saying like, or oh, informative stuff and all that kind of stuff. So as time has come past on and, um, and uh, the channel has grown uh, immensely and you know, it's not just and uh, oh, I'm always grateful for those who have plugged my channel, whether it's um, someone that likes the Daily Blase, All Shorts, uh, Maximus Rob Spear, the two Davies, just a couple of people, for example, who have highlighted my channel, and those who have actually gone out of their way to share and promote my channel, and other social media platforms and threads and, and whatnot. Um, very grateful for, the, for it, because many people have come across my channel either never heard of me before or you know now like well, I've had one or two people who never listened to politics or whatever and I've had some all sorts of people and it's uh, very fascinating to say the least and so I appreciate everybody do and then there's always there are some people who I like to think of as bots who comment on my channel and then there's those who I'm kind of I'm not sure what their agenda is so I know my, the, the ones, the comments, same comments that appear all the time. I kind of have an idea of like who they are, and they seem, and those who I see generally. And in those who are always, um, as it starts to rain here, those who are always commenting on my videos, those who are always appearing in my live streams, I know who you are, and I, and I appreciate you guys always making the time to watch that. But there's always some that don't always watch my videos. So who are subscribers? And, and that's totally fine, you know, the fact that they, it's totally their choice whether they want to watch a certain video or not. Who comment and they don't say anything bad, but they say something interesting or whatnot. And it's like, yeah, that's totally fine. But then there are them, there are some uh, controversial ones. So one of the kind of subscribers and commenters I do get, I do get a lot of, I started to have a lot of people, especially the immigration ones over the last, last month or two, I've really been ramping up talking about it immigration, asylum seekers, migration, the home office, and obviously it's been a topic of discussion severe, severely. And obviously it's come across and it's crossed paths with a lot of people who are very anti-immigrant, um, who are probably fans of Nigel Farage, and that's totally your opinion, uh, who are planning to vote Reform UK at the next, next general election. And again, you know, uh, if that's what you want to vote for, that's your choice. Personally, I don't agree with that, but that's, that's your that's your choice. Now that, that's an opinion, and uh, you're entitled to your opinion. You're entitled, entitled to that. Um, and we, we have agreed to disagree, I believe, as, uh, respectively. But I don't believe this premise that you can kill immigration off or you can stop the boats coming, you can stop, well, stop the boats, you can stop the boats, te technically, but you can't stop immigration coming to the UK. It's not possible, it's impossible. I've had this discussion on numerous, I've said this on numerous occasions and I'll keep mentioning it all the time no matter how upset it does people when they, whatever you choose to believe 
you can't stop immigration. Im immigration is a normality in society. It's not something you can stop. Um, no matter how much and how much you believe, how much it upsets you, whatnot, you can't stop immigration. It's, it's, an, it's an inevitable thing. But what you can do is increase or decrease it. And there are ways and methods to do that. And some are aggressive ways of doing it, which what well, the conservatives seem to be trying to do. And there are aggressive ways that uh, there are softer ways which liberals have want to do. But um, it's, it's each to their own, I'd say, on the matter. But those those commenters, while I disagree with them, um, you know, I, I am not going to remove their comments because there's no, you know, that's their opinion, and you don't have to agree with their opinion, but. Um, you know, I do believe to a certain extent the free speech, but there's also a part of me which I'm going to explain in a moment uh, why it's not entirely free speech on my channel, but I, and I'll explain that in a moment. So uh, this morning I had a comment uh, from somebody who I'm not going to name, I uh, didn't know the person, but basically uh, claimed that I, um, that, uh, I should not be taking down his opinion just because... Um, just because uh, he doesn't believe in uh, vaccinations. And uh, I basically, because I put a pinned comment up. So I had a video recently about about the NHS, about uh, uh, some, some trouble within the NHS, like within it, when it comes to the workforce and whatnot. Uh, those who are coming from certain countries, Nigeria in particular, are able to basically get qualifications quite easy to get in. And now some people have said that, oh, it's been going like that for 10 years and there was a Channel 4 documentary. I've not seen, I have did try to Google it and I've not seen it. I will have a look again at the time it's recording, but maybe there is a, maybe there was a documentary and I haven't come across it. Um, so it's entirely possible it, it's been around for 10 years and no one's talked about it. Um, I've seen some people saying that, um, that it's too easy, that anyone can literally get into the UK. And then I had someone basically saying, I uh, tried to try to basically relate it to the whole anti-vax stuff. Now I'm I'm very careful about what I say on this, and it's and I want to be very very clear. Um, I removed that person's com. Uh, I'm I plan on removing that person's com um, because that kind of uh, stuff is not welcomed in my channel in any way, shape, or form. And while I do give people a reason to a uh, place to speak freely of their mind what i won't accept is as uh is is cons as conspiracy theory as crazy as crazy as them um because vaccines have saved people's lives they have factually saved people's lives um there was record evidence across the entire globe of it if we did not do do have those we would be still in lockdowns or be living in fear all the goddamn time over covid19 it's an absolute I'm not going to accept this premise whatsoever. Um, and if you if you want to, if you believe that vaccines are of something else, then please go somewhere else. Um, you're not you're not welcome on my channel. You want to unsubscribe and go somewhere else? That's fine. Uh, but I'm not accepting those conspiracies in any way, shape, or form. If you want to believe your queuing on uh, conspiracies um, with no evidence whatsoever to support those claims, none to support those claims. Yeah, you can go right ahead because uh, uh, I know people that's lives have been saved thanks to that vaccine. Many people that I've uh, blessed who are still living with us today, thanks to them. So, and just even on on comments like that. Now, obviously, I still get I get a few comments who try to claim that. Like, no, I don't always know everything, um, which is why I have the the headline learning together because I'm still learning things guys so i do have some people calling uh who just the moment someone decides to insult me in the comments i just remove them because it's like like and then i don't care what the rest of your thread is because you're not helping anyone with that comment um like if you can you can say disagree you can disagree agreeably or disagree and give your reason for it but if you're gonna insult me you're gonna say something really inappropriate to me like, I'm not even going to bother reading your comment. I'm just going to remove it because I don't need in my life to deal with your deal with your hatred. You may vehemently disagree and I may be wrong and that's totally fine. You, you can, I could be totally wrong about a certain subject that I talk about. You know, I've got a lot of people who, who were, and I was wrong about the video 
you know, I didn't know too much about the uh, the uh, Good Friday Agreement. And a lot of people point out in the comments, but do you see me removing all the comments on there? No, because they weren't they weren't verbally abusing me in any way, shape or form, but they were putting constructive criticism of that video I'd done and telling me and telling me in their own words how it actually goes. And I appreciate them putting it like that and not actually being an absolute complete uh, flipping douchebag about it. So, so while I do appreciate some free speech on my channel, what I won't accept is people coming onto my channel and deciding to be a, a numpty about it. Um, certain words are banned on my, on uh, certain words that you might use on my channel are also banned as well. Uh, because to protect myself and save myself a lot of trouble, luckily YouTube has this thing where they um, will completely remove any inappropriate comments and I have to go through them myself and clear them out if I, if I want to read them. Um, so I'm just being careful about where I'm walking right now because it's really, really muddy. Oh. Um, so they have like normal comments and then there's comments with certain words and then there's the really with certain words where I can cross check them. I've actually had members, uh, members of the channel, um, their comments don't come, come up straight away because obviously they're using certain words in there because they want to, which are, the comments aren't inappropriate, but I need to confirm what they're saying is okay to share. Um, and then there are ones who are just outright insulting me and saying really nasty things who can't even spell properly because they're so upset with my video or because they vehemently disagree with me, you know. And uh, <laughs> uh, then I had ones, I had my very first death threats out to a few weeks ago as well, at the time of this recording. Uh, yeah, I had my first death threat. So someone threatened to, um, uh, to, uh, to uh, uh, basically uh, kill me and, uh, and my partner and any basically and uh you know just remove the comment because uh yeah <laughs> and uh you can i can laugh about it because look there's always going to be people there's some wax wacky people out there unfortunately who say things and they just don't understand why some people say the things they do um you know we can have disagreements but like and if you want to insult me you can just go somewhere else but Oh my death threats like really like just some guy on the youtube who's just giving his opinion about things like you don't have to agree with that person yeah but that's not how you make a conversation ah. you know I've, i think i've said this before there's a friend of um there's a friend of mine i won't name he has this um yeah, who has to deal with death threats all the time um in in his community that he has um, he's a really good guy and he, he deals with hatred all the time. Um, um, but he gets death threats on a daily basis. On a daily basis. Yeah. And, um, you know, it gets to him sometimes, even though it's, it's, it's tough, you know. And, um, you know, it's, it's one of the things you have to take. But I do, I do, I do read all my comments. Um, I don't always respond to them. I always try to respond to members' comments. I had one person who got gifted a membership and got angry because um, he didn't want membership and he wanted me to stop. He said, why did you give... He commented in one of my videos and said, why did you give me membership? Uh, I don't want membership. I don't want to stop getting notifications. And I'm thinking, um, well, first of all, I didn't give you membership. Um, I'm very, I have very grateful to those who do give memberships. And secondly, if you didn't want... If you didn't want... Um, any association with my channel then you could have unsubscribed and uh, you wouldn't have gotten a gifted membership and as for notifications well you can turn them off on your end i don't need to do them for you so i, I just deleted the comment because it was just a bit of a silly one to be fair guys um, but uh, yeah i mean i do read all your comments regardless of of what they are even if they're inappropriate or whatnot but um this isn't america okay this ain't America, and this ain't the UK. It's my YouTube channel, and it's entirely up to you um, what you want to write. Um, like I said, like we can have a disagreements about things and topics that I discuss on there on the channel, and uh, 
you know, but there is a way to, to speak to people and just, you know, think before you speak. You know, there's a saying of think before you tweet as well, uh, which is something that a lot of people on Twitter don't do enough of these days. So what I'll say is, is while you may disagree with a lot of things that I, you may disagree with a lot of things I say, and while I'm not the most educated person in your mind, which is why I have the term learn together, because remember, I don't have the experience of politics Maybe some of you guys in the comment section. I don't, I've not been in politics all my life. Um, but what I will say is, is what I do, what I do is, is resonating with people because people subscribe, people become members and renew their memberships. So what I say and talk about is resonating with people. So while I'm not the smartest person, I am sincerely passionate about wanting change for the better for everyone, even those who disagree with me. You know, I never wish death upon anyone, like even the most terrible people on the planet, um, no matter who they are, I'll never wish death upon them. You know, I don't, like, I mean, some people say things about uh, Rishi Sunak and Boris Johnson because of, uh, or even Nigel Farage, and I'm just like, like, like I, I, I don't agree with them and the, some of their policies and things that they have said in any way, shape or form, but I would never wish death upon them. Or, or anyone else for that matter, because, you know, what, what, what's, what good is that? But, um, yeah, very long one today. What did you guys think? What do you think about my faults? Um, so let me know how you, what, what you guys think about uh, my opinions, about comments and whatnot on my channel, specifically. Leave your comments down below. Hopefully you won't be rude and inappropriate and share your faults, but that's what I wanted to share anyway. So don't forget, if you found it interesting, like, share and subscribe. And I hope to catch you all very, very soon.